If you're a fan of selections in Corel Painter and you want to know what's new, you've selected a great tutorial. I'm Aaron Rutten, and today I will demonstrate some of the new selection features in Corel Painter 2023. It's now more intuitive to work with selections in Painter. The new Select panel gives you quick access to frequently used selection commands. This can be found in the Window menu. I'll draw a rectangular selection. And as you can see, I'm able to apply feathering up to 2,000 pixels in a single click. This is great for artists who work on large, high-resolution canvases. I can also invert the selection, deselect, save the selection, and load selections from an alpha channel or a layer mask. There is also a grouping of modify commands. The first option requires a pixel-based selection like you'd get from a selection brush. I can use this shortcut to convert a pixel-based selection to a shape or vector-based one. This will discard any transparency, though, as the warning reads. You can see how much different that selection looks without any feathering or transparency. Next to the first icon, there is a line that separates the pixel-based shortcut from the others, which are only applicable to shape-based selections like those made with the shape selection tools or lasso. You can expand, contract, smooth, and modify the border of selections. And beneath that, there is a grouping of image select commands that can generate selections automatically. First is select layer content, which selects all of the pixels on a layer. There's also the select group content command that can be applied to a group of layers. I can create a selection from the image luminance, which will allow me to select paint that has been merged with the canvas layer. This can be useful for removing line art from a white background. And last, I can create a selection based on the colors of a layer. For example, I can select specifically yellow. This is different from the new color selection feature that works with selection brushes. I'll demonstrate that in another video. I can now more easily see my selections and the associated transparency by visualizing the selection in different ways. This is particularly useful for the selection brushes, but it can be used with the other selection tools as well. I can show the traditional marquee or marching ants. I can show a colored overlay, or I can show both. I can easily customize the selection visualization in the properties bar by making the overlay a different color or by changing the opacity. And I can choose to show the selected area or invert that to show the selection surrounding it. When using the marquee to visualize the selection, you can now customize how many levels of transparency to include in the selection marquee using the threshold slider. This can be useful if you want to see the absolute edges of the selection or just the most opaque areas. Once I am through, I can set my visualization preference as a preset that I can load again later. This can be useful because you can save overlays of different colors to suit a particular image or workflow. Moving on to the next update, switching between addition and subtraction modes has been made easier by allowing you to toggle between the modes using a shortcut of Shift to invoke the additive mode and Alt to invoke the subtractive mode. This works for all of the selection tools, including the selection brushes. I'll make some selections and work back and forth between adding and subtracting to create a complex selection. Additionally, new cursors for the freeform and polygonal lasso tools have been introduced to help you make more precise selections. These icons are less obtrusive and do not cover the selection when you're trying to connect points. Another change in Painter 2023 is that the magic wand tool can remember many of its settings even after closing and restarting Painter. For instance, it can remember mode, tolerance, anti-alias, and the contiguous property. I'll change some of these properties and close Painter. When I open again, those settings have been retained. Should you want to reset the magic wand settings to default, you can do that as well. The final feature I will demonstrate is one that I really like. You can now turn a selection into a mask in a single step. Simply make a selection, invert it if necessary, and click once on the layer mask icon. The selection is automatically applied to the mask. There you go, that was a look at what's new with selections in Corel Painter 2023. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. 